Jumak Restaurant by Nomal in Jeonju SI, South Korea. The centralization of the metropolitan area, development of new local cities, changes in industrial structure, and population decline have led to the deterioration of small towns that had once prospered. Regenerating and revitalizing a decayed city is not just about local governments investing in various policies and budgets. Private companies are also participating, and the interest of residents is increasing. Among these attempts, MBC Empty House 3 is a public-private cooperative commercial venture between Jeonju City, a private company, and a broadcasting station as an approach to solving slums in Palbokdong, Jeonju, Korea. In the 1970s, Palbokdong was a light industrial area representing Jeonju, experiencing a wave of industrialization. Huvis, Munwa Pencil, and Jeonju Paper are still located in Palbokdong. As factories began to open in the once quiet rural village during the manufacturing revival, many people flocked to Palbokdong to look for jobs. Nowadays, the neglected and abandoned manufacturing factories and residential areas for workers are a testament to the past manufacturing revival period in Palbokdong. Likewise, Palbokdong, which represented Jeonju's history and economy for a long time, could not avoid the rapidly changing domestic industrial structure, and the manufacturing industry declined in the 1990s, leaving only abandoned factories and severe environmental pollution and becoming a neglected area. MBC Empty House 3 selected four old empty houses in Palbokdong. The four architect offices participated in regenerating these houses in their identical ways, and Jumak is one of them. The project's beginning concerned the concepts of hanok, publicness, and a restaurant. Jumak is a Korean term for a traditional tavern, and it is a symbol that could accommodate all these elements. Jumak was a commercial space where travelers could rest and where surrounding neighbors mingled. Jumak had indoor spaces for lodging and cooking, and outdoor spaces had benches called pyeongsang and tables where guests could rest or eat. Palbokdong's Jumak, a pyeongsang, is partially indoor, making it less vulnerable to the weather. Indeed, several design components make this indoor space symbolically an outdoor space. Since the exterior walls were metal, the wall between the kitchen and the hall was also metal and the roof material was connected to the interior ceiling, implying that the internal hall was symbolically an external space, just like a traditional jumak. Furthermore, the landscape breaks down the boundary between inside and outside. The purpose was to secure a sense of visual openness in a relatively narrow space and emphasize the internal hall as an external space. Also, the adjacent vacant lot was converted into a village park, and the wall was removed to eliminate the boundary between the two sites. It allows Jumak to have a more prominent front yard, and the park will be able to use the facilities of the Jumak. The existing houses on this site were critically damaged. One hanok and three houses with roofs and floors collapsed, and walls broke. Although the upper structure of the hanok was barely usable, most of the bases were rotted. Three houses were judged unusable in a structural safety inspection. Nevertheless, the design focused on preserving existing traces as much as possible because it is a building that has existed in the town for a long time as part of the village landscape with various memories of Palbokdong. In the case of the hanok, the roof was carefully removed to prevent the existing structure from collapsing and the rotted wood structure was reinforced by wrapping the lower part with metal and filled with concrete. Modern material was substituted for load consideration and roof performance instead of traditional roof tiles.